Hey guys, it's Courtney, and today we're talking about first dates because I've kind of had my fair share of them. So I thought I would share some life hacks slash tips just to make your life a little bit easier. So I thought I'd go through all aspects of the date from the beginning to the end. So let's start at the beginning. And with that, let's start with meeting people. If you want to meet a new person that you haven't met before, you might want to venture out into some of the dating apps. Now, I have tried quite a few of these, and my favorite one is The Grade. I've been on Tinder and like swipe left to like 99% of the people. I've tried, what are some of the other ones? Like OkCupid, all that stuff. And The Grade is my favorite, and what's different about this is it's more like controlled, I feel like. And the whole reason it's called The Grade is because you can meet people and if you have met them, dated them, through that, went on a date with them, you could rate them afterwards. So say you had a terrible date somewhere on another dating app, nobody else would ever know. But if they were some creepy guy or something, you could go ahead and rate them poorly on the app. And if their rating falls below like an F and then they fail, then they get booted from the app. They have three separate grades. So one is for their profile, one is for messaging, and one is like a peer review of their friends or someone they've been on a date with. And I wanted to tell you guys about that because if you use like dating apps, you should tell all your friends because this has been my favorite. I only wish there was more people on it. Um, so all that has to do with just letting people know. So I thought I would let you guys know. And I actually like the way this is laid out a lot better than Tinder because you could scroll through their pictures way easier. And then if you, you know, you're interested, you're not interested, you just swipe either way. Now it's time to get ready for your first date. So you're going on a date with this person. And if you are shy like me, you're probably thinking, what the heck am I going to talk about? on this date. One hack I have is like review your conversation that you've messaged with that person, go back through your old messages and kind of pull out fun facts about them that you want to get to know more of. Like if they play a certain sport, you could say, oh, I remember you say you played this, you know, how do you like it? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. Just kind of find what their interests are based on what you guys have talked about. It's not really stalking them. You're just refreshing your memory about what you've talked to this person about. Now, where do you go for the actual date. So a uh, dinner and movies is very typical. Or you could also think outside of the box, which is what I like to do, and do something a little bit different that could be like a conversation piece. Like go to a comedy show so that way afterwards you guys could talk about it. Or go like do something fun like rock climbing or something. Like if you're rock climbing, you know, you're staying active and you could talk to them in between like climbing, but it's not like straight on conversation. Just jumping like straight into dinner or lunch or coffee or whatever could be a little bit intimidating if you don't know the person very well or their interests but creating a conversation starter really helps so if you want to do like a movies and dinner go to the movies first and then go to the dinner after that way you guys could kind of talk about the movie talk about what other kind of movies you like and then it will lead to other thing and kind of break the ice so say you finished dinner and now you have to pay the bill somewhere it is always great to offer I feel like the guy generally pays on the first date I've never paid for a guy on the first date but a good thing to make it a less awkward, especially if you're a guy watching this, if the girl gets up to go to the bathroom or you could excuse yourself to go to the bathroom, go ahead and pay for the bill. If you invited that person out on the date, whether you're a girl or a guy, you should probably pay. Make a little sneaky move to your waiter or wherever you are and go ahead and pay for it. That way they don't have to come to the table and you'd be like, oh, I'll pay, no, I'll pay, no, I'll pay, no, I'll pay. Just go ahead and pay for it. That way you could be all taken care of. Last but not least, let's finish this date off with a kiss. Now, do you kiss on the first date? Do you not kiss on the first date? That is completely up to you. Now, a few like rules you could get around this or figure out if they wanna kiss you or not kiss you is if you're a guy or a girl, kinda just like brush their hand if you're walking or something. And if they maybe try to grab your hand or like touch you back, or if they just pull away, kind of read their body language. And a tip for my ladies out there is if you know you don't wanna kiss them on your first date or something, wear like a bright red lipstick or wear something else. Not that that will completely stop them, but most guys will probably think twice about kissing you if you have, even if it's a lip stain, they don't have to know. They might be a little bit more like against kissing you if that's not what you're going for. 
I want to know what advice you guys have. Leave them in the comments down below and share any like horror first date stories. That would be hilarious. So definitely go do that in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you missed my last videos, you could check them out on both sides of me. Make sure to click one of those before you head on out of here. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.